Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the news of the day. Mike Zimmer is going to be our defensive coordinator of the series. Cat mode time, baby. Cat mode time and full effect, little motherfuckers out, motherfucker, bad motherfucker. Yeah, dude. So that's the news of the day, man. We got what we wanted, most of us anyway. There's a couple crybabies out there that wanted uh, a couple of these other guys, but this was the best fit, in my opinion. Um, it was it was starting to get kind of weird, you know. They started entering a lot of people, and we know Cowboys. They like to do this whole do and diligence type bullshit, right? So they started interviewing name after name after name. Some of them were kind of guys that hadn't been in the league for a while. Guys, you hadn't really heard of, and I was like, okay, man, don't screw this shit up. Don't screw it up. All right. Thankfully, tonight, we got the news of news. All right. Mike Zimmer returning to Dallas. The prodigal son returns. All right. So, a lot of top 10 defenses throughout his career. Solid. Solid, solid coordinator. No doubt about that. So, I'm glad we got him, man. You know, uh, I think you couple him with uh, year two of Mike McCarthy leading the way on offense. I think this could be an improvement from last year. Will it get us to the divisional? Will it get us to the NFC Championship? You got to hope that it does something, man, some kind of improvement. All right. So I like this move. You know, I mean, I really like it. You know, he, he's, he's done a lot in here. Uh, the age, I don't care about it. I think he connects with these players. He's a no-nonsense guy. So, and this is what you needed, man. The Cowboys needed this kind of shit. No more of this buddy-buddy crap. You know, not being held to high standards around here. They weren't, man. You hear some of these post-interviews, these guys, they were just half-assing it the fucking way, bro. Oh, we were, we were burnt out, and we were tired, and this kind of shit, bro. Like, Fuck, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on around this fucking place, bro? I'm glad Dan Quinn got the fuck out of here. You can take that fucking cupcake shit and get the fuck out of here, bro. That's why none of this shit works anywhere any anymore, dude. Um, so, time to man these guys up, dude. Like, like I said before, he's going to turn these boys into men. All right? He's going to fix the middle of this defense, like I've been saying. That's, that's, the, that's the core. You know, he's good at uh, building up these defensive tackles. So hopefully, uh, day one, reverse the stupidity that Dan Quinn was doing with Monty Smith, losing weight, trying to make him a three-tech. Add the weight back. One tech, you're in business, all right? I'll let this guy just stuff it, get in the way, this sort of thing. You know, do what he did at, at Michigan. I'll try to make him into something he's not, man. All right? So that's line one. Line two. Your, your linebackers, all right? Uh, give me some speed out there. Give me some size, and I think we'll be in business. He's good. He's a solid coordinator, like I said in my last video. Uh, the work that he's done with, with defenders, the, the secondary, they all say good things about him, man. You know, so he's going to get the most out of you. He's going to push you, all right? He's going to push you, all right? And that's going to be the difference, man. That's going to be the difference between the boys and the men, man. If you can't take it, you know, you're probably going to you're probably gonna get flushed out of here. Okay, so let's hope this is a new era here in the Cowboys that can take us further into the playoffs. Um, so I like the move, man. I like the move a lot. Uh, now, this doesn't stop the Cowboys. I want to see some more moves here. I want to see Aiden Dirty get the fuck out of here. The Englishman, get out of here. And I'm going to see a, a, a legitimate linebacker coach in here, okay? We blocked requests for Al Harris and London Wells. You know, your tight end coach. And obviously, Al Harris, I think, is a, a secondary guru. So, um, keeping these guys on board is a good thing. But you, you can let Dirty get the fuck out of here, bro. I think Zimmer's going to bring in his, his guy in here. Uh, he's already got Sharif Floyd on staff, so... He's going to know the expectation, what he really wants to get out of these guys, not not what Dan Quinn wanted, uh, which was he didn't know. All right, so I'm looking forward to this, the turning the page. It is a little bit of uh, hope, all right, like I said. Um, 
We'll see what these guys do this year, though. You know, it's it seems like it's the same story every fucking year with this team. So, uh, offensively, though, they they got to they got to do some tweaks there, man. Are they gonna keep Coach Solari here? I'm coaching these offensive linemen. I want to see a change there. Um, your running back coach, I would like to see a change there. So hopefully, the hiring of a Mike Zimmer is not. Uh, the end of uh, some of your coaching moves. I think now you have your core guys in here now. Now you can get to work. Now you can get busy. You can concentrate on the NFL draft and uh, the combine, which is just a few weeks away. You know, it's this month. It's the end of this month going into, into March. So just a few weeks away for the NFL combine. So time to get the staff together. All right. And trying to figure out the where this team is going forward, you know. But uh, that's all we have tonight, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Does this move the needle for you in any way? Did you want one of the other coordinators? All right. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you for the next one. Peace.